Hey guys, it's Key. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to be looking at another amazing distro from the guys at PyLab. Now this is called Raspbian X and it's themed on Windows 10. Now previously I did a video on their release of Raspbian XP which was themed on Windows XP. I've left a link for that video in the description below. So if it's as good as that, we're in for a treat. So the first thing you'll notice when you boot up is that it's all very similar to Windows 10 layout. You've got all your usual things you'll see on Windows. You've got your web browser, you've got your file explorer, you've got the functionality to minimize all your windows to show your desktop and then to restore all your windows with one click. You've got your network options, your wired, your Wi-Fi, your VPN connection, and we've even got Bluetooth functionality, sending, receiving files. And continuing with the Windows theme, you've also got your volume toggle here. You can increase your volume with your mouse wheel, just like Windows. And of course, you've got your calendar. Now, this is something you won't find on Windows. It's something that the guys have added. It's basically a quick way to boost your CPU speed just from your desktop. Now, the other similarity with Windows is the availability of Task Manager. And just like Windows, it shows your processes, your CPU frequency, and the memory used. All very cool in a little package like the Raspberry Pi 4. Now you've also got Chromium, the media edition, which allows you to play the likes of Netflix and Amazon Prime. And like you can see, there's no issues with screen tearing or stuttering. And that's even when you max out the screen. As you can see, YouTube works fine, and we can go all the way up to 720, 1080p. And during my testing, I didn't get any stuttering or screen tearing. Now the other great thing here is we've got access to Steam. And because the Raspberry Pi 4's got Giganet Ethernet, you should be able to stream some pretty good games. Just log in as normal and away you go. Now we've also got access to RetroPie on the desktop, and we know that works really well on the Raspberry Pi 4. At this point, I don't have any ROMs loaded onto my Raspberry Pi 4, but like I mentioned, it all works very well. Adding and removing software couldn't be easier, it's straight off the start menu. For this to work, you do need a connection to the internet, because every time you make a selection, it will update the list with the latest selection. And on the left hand side, you can see there's plenty of software categories to choose from. In fact, you can even search for what you need. So I'm going to do a search for Kodi. Give it a while and there you go guys, ready to install. And there's even a description on the bottom. There's a few games ready to play just off the start menu, so let's give them a whiz. Now this is Metroid 2. And it's a regular scrolling game. And it looks like it runs very smooth, there's no speeding up done here guys. And the bonus here is you can also play it in Windows mode. So you could easily be multitasking. Another game off the menu they've got is Cat Strike 2D and it plays equally well in the Windows mode. So you've got all your LibreOffice applications. I'm going to test out Calc here, which is equivalent to your MS Excels. Now you do get some pretty advanced functionality here. I was able to create a pivot table. So if you don't like the look of the theme, you can just change it. There's loads of options from cursors, windows, displays. You can quickly just change your desktop theme. Now these changes can be made at a detail level down to your windows appearance. So I just changed the menu bar from black to grey and back again. Now there's loads of tweaks you can do here. I can change what goes on the menu bar and so on. Anyway guys, this is all thanks to the guys at PyLab and I've left links in the description below where you can download this Pi image. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.